It's just an unprecedented amount of violence that we've seen in my career. Ten hours after a deadly shooting outside the Guilford County Courthouse in Greensboro, police were called to Logan Street, the city's 54th homicide. We think there's a myriad of things that goes into the ingredients of why they occur. Deputy Chief Michael Terry can't say for sure what is causing the violence and tells Fox State the department's focus is to solve the crime. We are the largest ingredient uh, for trying to combat violent crime, but it does take a commu community involvement to combat it. And we do need neighbors and community members and community leaders if they see something to say something. Mayor Nancy Vaughn worries the raise the age law passed last year that prevents 16 and 17 year olds from facing adult charges for nonviolent crimes has some unintended consequences. What we have found is that people are now going after these 16 and 17 year olds and saying, you know, well, if you do this, you know, if you get caught, you're not going to be charged as an adult. She supported the legislation, but now believes it's leading gangs to recruit younger members. Certainly, people need to put their guns down. Councilwoman Yvonne Johnson works with many children through the Cure Violence Initiative. She says when children are exposed to crime, they learn to retaliate at a young age. One of the things we are, are adamant about is changing the thought pattern and behavior of children in terms of, uh, in reference to crime. Community leaders and Deputy Chief Terry urge everyone to report problems in their community. So we're asking that they call us even for the smaller things that they recognize in their neighborhoods. And um, we think that's the best way to stop things before they get started.